Uh, I don't know what all this is, but I don't want to find out. If I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Oh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. your life the sinkhole your foot what you'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound fine two times then the sinkhole and just now hey let me see that leave it it's nothing hey I'm fine come on roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already this is not an admission. Hey, let me see. <sighs> uh, it's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. <sighs> Let's go. Kit said the ward was this way. That old fairy tale? Yeah, like this ward. Old white guy founds it, food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer out here. <laughs> you think people actually live like this? Uh. I'm mm, not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. <laughs> yeah. can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's gotta be another way through. It's about time. What took you? What 
happened to these poor bastards? Can't let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. Hmm. Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and those bodies. This is bad with a side of broccoli. A side of what? Nothing. <gasps> Something my ma used to say. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Dead one! This is it. Shoot the dead nice shooting. Hey, that don't count, by the way. Oh, damn. That's it over. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. All gone after all. No. Nope. Ain't no way the war's real. Not with a nest like this out here. You know, maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. Uh, okay. Uh, if not,
Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo! We still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. Thick down here. Must be what I felt back at the ward. Wait. <coughs> You're from the ward? Shit. <coughs> Maybe Santa's real too. Yeah, it's not far from here. The way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out.
would know they've lost. But they won't lay down without a fight. shooting traveler yeah I had some practice I'll bet but don't worry words as safe a place as any safer so it's really real food and water and folks living with some old white guy <laughs> more or less <coughs> whoa whoa let me get you some water <sighs> Ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... Uh, we need to get her to the morgue, and quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, before we lose the light. Take good care of her. Welcome to Ward 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Uh, just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Bo! He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know.
So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... Well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. Oh, Traveler. How's everything? Hey, I'm just glad we got to you, you know, when we did. You stirred up quite a deadwood nest. I haven't seen that many in one place for a long time. Oh, uh, that was Wally. He, he gave us a heads up someone was coming. Then Clementine was the one that found you. They, they got a kind of uh, a root sense, I guess. And we figured where there were root gatherings, someone was likely to be in trouble. <laughs> and there you were. Wally, I, I mean, uh, Wallace, he, he has a way of seeing things. Always has. Wally's been with the ward since he was just a kid, and his seeing has saved a lot of lives. He's, uh, he's a good kid. Oh, the kind I'm damn grateful I don't, to be honest. He sees like the root. Sees what they see sometimes. The, the past, the future. Whew. All that knowing. Huh. It's a lot for someone to carry. You should ask him if you want to know more. <laughs> I guess. I, I used to guard the old ward some 20 years ago. I helped out here and there, you know, but before Commander Ford passed, she and the Founder, they kinda put me in charge. Yeah. Maybe no one else wanted the job, I don't know, but... The ward's the only family I've ever known. I'll do whatever it takes to keep these folks safe. Oh, incredible, isn't she? Yeah, no one really understands how she does it, not, not even her. But the feel in the air after she blasts him like that, it's... It's electric, like, like the sun after a storm. She's something special, Traveler, <laughs> and no small part of how we're as safe as we are. Between me and, oh, I, I, I don't, um, <laughs> uh, what? No, no, it's not, I don't, I mean, I, I do, but it's, it's not like that. I, <sighs> have, uh, have you ever met anyone like her, Traveler? Because I haven't. Like, I, I haven't always been the bravest guy around, you know, but the way she fights for folks, no matter what it takes out of her, it, it makes me want to do better. I, I kind of want to make her proud, you know? I, well, I guess you could say she's my, my inspiration, maybe? Oh, but don't, don't tell her I said that, though. Make yourself at home, Traveler. We're all family here. If you need anything, you know where to find me. You think... For a really good... Really gone? Good? I don't know. But I don't think it matters. We gotta find joy where we can, while we can. So beautiful. So peaceful. I love it. So you want to go? Brad and I used to walk there. This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's fine. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your talk. Uh... <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa, what happened?
have we here? Ah, the traveler, of course. Wallace said, yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. Huh, how about that? I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. Ah, uh, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Our young Wallace told me. Okay. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk? And some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. Huh. Huh, huh. Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, traveler. Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources. And then we'll get into it in earnest. Quite a few characters around here. I'll warrant you that. Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Nosebleeds. Headaches. And I worry about worse. Things we can't see so easy. <sighs> it's not like there's a manual. Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned. Just a kid. Ward 13. Sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. All right, Traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. We'll talk about this later. You were right, mother. I'm traipsing in here like you own the place. Ha! <laughs> I'm just pulling you. Name's Brabus, and I run security around here. Though seeing as you got the mayor's personal approval, I reckon mm. you ain't problem now. I also Maybe make sure folks here Williams. about can protect hey, themselves. Up, ain't just the root kicking around. A lot of folks still ain't chummy with this whole rebuilding society business. <laughs> I should know. I used to be one of them. Up until about 20 years ago, I ran a pack called the Mud Dogs. We took what we wanted and killed anyone who crossed us. It was a dog-eat-dog -dog world back then. We all did what we had to to survive. Uh, 
Things might be different now, but a lot of folks can't chew a path out of the old ways. Maybe never will. Remember, the choices you make out there can come back to haunt you, believe me. Greetings. Forgive me. I am not good with Paxotec faces. Oh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Pax to take a part without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxeltic name is Dwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make Paxeltic faster, stronger, more powerful. They help it defeat its enemies. And the price is only that which will make it stronger than before. Lead to 